Finally, one of the most powerful techniques within Houdini is channel referencing. Channel referencing lets you use the value of one object's channel within another uh, parameter of another object or even another parameter of the same object. For example, I'm going to create this same offset I'm creating with a transform node. But this time I will do it within the, uh, the same box node via channel referencing. So remember the expression I used to center or to change the center of this box and position it flat on the grid. I will do the exact same thing, but this time I will right click on the size Y value and click on the copy parameter and then look for the center Y channel, right click and click on paste relative references. So notice how the box jumped upward. It's now flying above the grid. And if you check the center Y value, it is now the same as the Y size. If we were to change the size, also the center would change. Because now those two channels are referenced, or actually the center is referencing the size channel. So if we were to divide that value by two, again, we will have the same result as before. So there is several ways to channel reference. Uh, the easiest way, again, is to right click a channel, copy parameter, and then paste relative reference. You can also manually create a channel reference using the ch expression. For example, if I type here ch, open parentheses, open quotes, and type size x, close parentheses, or actually close quotes, close parentheses, now I have the same value as a size x and if we change this value also the center for the x will change so the way to know the names of these channels is to hover the mouse on top of the parameter you want to change for example if you put your mouse on top of the size parameter you will have the text showing the name of that channel in this case, there's three values, size X, size Y, and size C. Or if I put my cursor on, on top of the uniform scale, you will have the channel scale. So I mentioned earlier that sometimes I use a textport window to debug and to check values and to check uh, certain variables. So I will show you real quick where to find and how to use this window. So I'll go to the Windows menu, find the HCrypt export. And here I will show you a very useful way to locate uh, channel names. For example, I will double click on the uniform scale value and drag it into the textport window. So here we know, or here we can see that this channel is in the object context within my Houdini file. It's in a node called box object one. And inside this node, we have a box one node, which is this one here. And then there's a channel. In this, ca uh, in this case, it's named scale. For example, let's, let's try with the axis division. I'll double click on this value and drag it into the textport window. And here we have the name of that channel. 